Hello, Glacier Gladiators. Mr. Galvan here. I am going to be showing you and your parents exactly how to get organized for your fifth grade year and your fourth grade year. There are a few materials you're going to be need throughout the whole school year. So let me go ahead and show you what they are. Since we're doing some AVID training and organization, I'm referring to AVID, which is Academic Achievement via Individual Determination. Okay, Achievement via Individual Determination. You're gonna be hearing a lot about AVID this year. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start off with a three ring binder. This one's about three inches, two and a half would be fine but you're gonna be using this and stay organized all throughout the whole school year. Look at mine. Wow, I have it all organized already for you. So let me break it down to show you exactly how you're going to organize yours. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your binder. And after you open up your binder, you're going to be getting some materials from us, from all the teachers. Here's some of the materials I want you to see, okay? You're gonna have a planner. Every week you'll write down your homework. So parents, make sure that you check their homework every single day, okay? So this is a weekly planner and it has Monday through Friday, okay? The next thing you're gonna have is this, a monthly planner. Yes, it's blank right now, but projects will be written in here all kinds of other stuff. Things that, you know, a lot of times your child may be forgetful about, they'll be written on here. So we'll go through this every single month. Also, it will be graded and checked. Here is our assessment tool. On Fridays, we'll be looking at their binder to see how they are organized and if they're keeping it all organized and completed. We'll also be doing this. Well, this is kind of brand new. This is a weekly time log. What is it that they're doing every single day? Lots of times you'll come home from work and the kids say, yeah, I finished my homework. But they're gonna have to write down what they did for every single hour, Monday through Friday. Oh, you didn't get your homework done, huh? What were you doing during the time that you got home and I got home? Yeah, kids. You're going to have to log on what you did every single hour after you get home from school and the stuff you're going to did you do during the school as well. Okay. Now, parents, this is going to be every single week. It's just going to be for a few weeks. So that way the kids understand how to manage their time. Then we'll have this little tool right here. This little tool is the time log analysis. What that does is it analyzes what they're actually doing throughout the day and where do they spend most of their time on, okay? So you'll have all these pages. Now, some of those will be going away, but the planner or the agenda will not go away. They'll have one of these every single week. Well, this goes at the very front of the three ring binder. So punch the holes in it put it inside so it'll look exactly like this. What's next? Well, now you have a choice. Your choice is we can provide you with these little dividers that already that they could write down the subject or you can go ahead and buy the dividers at Target, Walmart, any other places that have dividers. Either one will work. Okay? Also, the other thing that they need is gonna be a pencil pouch. Now this one does not have the little holes punched inside of it, but it'd be best if it does. So that way that goes inside the binder as well. What goes inside the pencil pouch? Well, let's open it up and find out. Notice how my pencil pouch doesn't have very much in it. You don't need all kinds of pencil shavings or all kinds of little erasers and stuff. No, these are the things you need. You need two pencils. We have sharpeners in the classroom. Two pencils. Two pens. 
The color is determined by your teacher. Blue, black, red, your teacher will let you know. Highlighters, yes. Two highlighters. I happen to have yellow and pink. Yours could be any color, but mostly yellow. I also have orange, but that's only for those people who don't like pink. An Expo marker. This is a dry erase marker. That also is very necessary. We will be supplying some Expo, Expo markers or dry erase markers for your children, but mostly kids, you need to have at least one when you come into school. Now, let's get to the actual subject. So now you can see I have this right here is my divider. I went ahead and labeled it English. Your teacher might say reading or English language arts. Either one is fine. What goes in right after that? Wide ruled note paper. See this note paper? You only need about five to 10 sheets. Your teacher will tell you how many sheets you need. You put it inside there. Look how nice and neat it looks. Next, divider is gonna be math. Some teacher will put, teachers will want you to put math first. Some will want you to put math after reading or English language arts. This is just the way I happen to organize it. Your teacher will let you know exactly how you want, they want you to do it. Put that in as a divider. What goes next? You guessed it. Five to 10 more sheets of notebook paper. So that way it's all nice and organized. After that, social studies. Make sure your divider has social studies written on it. Then you put, again, more wide ruled paper. The question is, wide ruled or college ruled? Wide ruled would be better, but college ruled is fine as well. College ruled is just narrower. There's not as much space. So we used to do wide ruled for kids, but ask your teacher which one they prefer. After, now we have science. We are a Project Lead the Way school. So science and Project Lead the Way will probably be in the same divider. After science, you're gonna have some more notebook paper. Then, since we are an AVID school, we're gonna be doing some more AVID note taking. Now, yes, AVID. Acad uh, achievement via individual determination. And we'll be talking more about that. And then more paper for note taking. Now, I am gonna put six subjects inside here. The last subject is blank. Why is it blank? Because your teacher may want you to do other things as well. It's gonna be up to them. So have at least six dividers. Lastly, after you put more paper inside there, a spiral notebook, okay? The spiral notebook is very, very important. Make sure it has a hold inside here. Notice I chose a wide ruled. This goes in the back of your AVID notebook, okay? Look, I'm gonna do the AVID notebook test. Nothing's falling out. Isn't that amazing? It's all attached. There are also some other questions, but Mr. Galvan, how am I gonna put my writer's notebook inside here? Here's my writer's notebook. Your writer's notebook is gonna be looking like a composition book, just like this. You can buy a sleeve. Now, these plastic sleeves are great. Some of these will fit inside there. Some of these have the three hole punch. This one does not have it, So, but I want to use it as an example. So that way you can have your writer's notebook inside your plastic sleeve. There's other questions, Mr. Gowan, how about if I have a small notebook? You can as you, if you want to. There is a pouch inside the three ring binders that you can fit inside there. Look how easily that fits inside there to keep you nice and organized. Lastly, Mr. Galvan's kids are gonna get one of these. Other teachers may do it as well, but we're gonna be doing some science stuff inside here. I will provide these and other teachers, if they're gonna be using them, will provide them as well. The next question is, but what about those other folders like these? Well, these can be used as well, but we're not gonna focus on these or on these. Why? Because they get really messed up and all kids do is put 
all kinds of junk inside there. Next thing you know it, two weeks later, they can't find anything. So we're not gonna really emphasize using either one of these two. Can they use them if they want to? Yes, absolutely. So make sure that you understand what the pouch is, the three ring binder, what the binder test, and a sleeve, usually just a, pl a plastic sleeve will be fine with the holes inside of it. It doesn't have to be exactly like this one, okay? I hope kids and parents that this is helpful for you and we're looking forward to seeing all of you back here on campus. Have a wonderful 21-22 school year.